I've been doing YouTube for four years now. That sounds crazy, but this channel specifically, I've only been doing for about two to three years. I started off my senior year when COVID hit. It was on a different channel. Back then, I just wanted to do YouTube. Didn't matter what kind of content it was. Little did I know this was gonna be the point where I vigorously study the algorithm to try to figure out as a creator how to grow on YouTube. And this was also the time where I was graduating. Luckily I had more time because I wasn't actually going to classes. They graduated everybody. But once graduation came around, I knew I had to get a job. Fast forward me getting a job and my consistency on YouTube plummets. Little did I know the amount of time and effort that I'm putting into these YouTube videos was about to be cut into half. And the thing that sucked was that worst half of my day. Firstly, go to work, go hit the gym because I was actually staying in shape. But by the time I hit the gym, it was already 8. I had to go to sleep and get ready for the next day. Wasn't even able to work, wasn't even able to think of video ideas. So I kind of pushed that channel to the side. I had accumulated a couple bad spending habits and a little bit of debt due to me moving out at 18. And that is when I created Josh's Journey. Well, what you guys know now as Cedric's Cashflow. That was, I believe, 2021 or 2022. And ever since then, I've been trying to become as financially literate as possible, which sucks because the school system didn't show us jack shit about money. I did what I've done on YouTube my whole life and try to learn as much as possible from searching up questions on YouTube. <laughs> I just want to document my journey. Unfortunately, I've made a lot of mistakes that has costed me a lot of money, a lot of debt, and I gotta face it. All that to say that I've been putting all this time and effort not for nothing. I know it's gonna pay off and I've always been this confident within my YouTube channel. I had reached a thousand subscribers on that first channel, put it to the side, then started this channel, which up until June of this year, even before that, April, May, it only had like 400 subscribers at the beginning of this year. But within daily uploading for 80 days, I was able to build and grow a community way bigger than I had expected to. And I knew I had to take a break, which is why I took a break. I honestly don't regret it. A lot happened within that month and I know I wasn't being lazy or procrastinating. Okay, maybe I was a little bit, but I know I got a lot of shit done within that month, especially with the background stuff. Getting the script work ready, getting the video series and all of that ready, talking to my cousin, working with him on how we're gonna focus what he's editing, what I'm editing, and vice versa. Basically planning out the rest of the year. Now, as I said in the last video, it is almost the end of the year. We're about to hit four months left in the year, and I want to finish off with a bang. I want to be fully monetized. At the moment, we are monetized on this YouTube channel, but only partially. So with YouTube, they got two types of, I guess, levels to this YouTube partner program. Thousand subscribers and 3000 hours of watch time and thousand subscribers and 4000 hours of watch time. I have less than 800 hours to go, which I really wanna be able to do by the end of next month. That's my goal. And I'm telling you guys all this because my YouTube channels are all going to be businesses which are going to be bringing in revenue. If I revive Strictly Cedric, turn it into Strictly Business Athletics and start uploading sports content, now we're talking. We're about to have two income sources online which is really what I've been waiting for. I have always wanted to be able to quit my job and be able to say I am a full-time content creator and not living paycheck to paycheck. That's my goal. I know the paycheck to paycheck aspect is my fault, but that's why I'm documenting my journey because I know my spending habits are going to change. I know my financial status is going to change and I just want to be free. But let's go back to the monetization. We have achieved the first part of the YouTube Partner Program, and it's pretty big in my opinion, especially given that we have an e-com store, we have a clothing brand that I am working on. And luckily for me, I am able to use my YouTube channel to fund 
traffic to my website because I am now able to place products under my videos. If I have a new hat, it can be under every single one of my videos. Second thing we have is super thanks. You're basically able to pay like a donation and highlight your comment with whether that's on a live stream or a YouTube video. The final perk that we're able to have to try to make money from YouTube other than ad revenue, which is the next thing we're trying to unlock, is YouTube channel members. So what is this? The main comparison you can compare the memberships to is something like, what is that? Only fan. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Patreon. That's how you say it, right? Patreon. Um, you pay every single month to get exclusive content. Not that kind of exclusive content. But the main one I am going to be focusing on is shorts. I am going to be posting two daily shorts publicly on this channel every single day. I'll talk about those series in just a sec. But the one members only YouTube short series that I'm going to have is documenting my spending. If you guys don't know by now, every paycheck, I put money into Cash App and that money is what I use to spend. I'm able to spend those hundred bucks however I'd like, but I kind of got to make them last for at least a week. So if you guys want to see how I spend my money, go ahead and become a member. If you do not, Go ahead and enjoy the other YouTube shorts, Daily Debt Payoffs, which is basically self-explanatory. I will be making a payment into my debt every single day, whether that's a minimum of five bucks or if I'm doing 20, 50, or making a, a bill payment that has to do with my debt. And then the other series we are going to have, which may trigger some of you guys as well, is Daily Investments. Now I am going to start off small and by small I mean I can literally start off with a dollar a day. A rule I am going to be making is going to be I have to match my investments with savings. So that dollar value of the investment that I make has to also go into savings at the same time of making the investment. So if I invest $5, I'll invest, I'll save $5 on that same day. $10 cash into $5 savings and $5 investment. Why am I doing this? One, to see if I'm able to make more money, investing money or saving money. Two, to start building a pile of assets. Doesn't matter how small it is. There's two ways of me getting to a positive net worth, which is lowering my debt and increasing my assets. Now why not do all of it at the same time so that there isn't a boring day where I'm just like, huh, I'm bored, I'm gonna just spend money. No, I'll put five bucks into savings, five bucks into debt, five bucks into investments and call it a day, spend 15 bucks, the amount that I would be spending on a Carl's combo. I don't know, that's, that's just something I'm thinking about. I really believe that could work because I was thinking a lot at work, to be honest. I was thinking, how am I going to make shorts for only people that pay? But I'm gonna make some shorts that are for the public and some for the you know, members. You don't wanna pay to watch me spend money? Okay, I don't care. I want you guys to want to be a part of it, whether that's for that or other perks that I add within my membership. I do plan on adding a $5 discount for the clothing brand. If you're a member, you get $5 off. So $5 you put into the clothing brand, you have off on the SB clothing whenever you decide to buy some clothing. Just having perks, I do want to keep it at that $5 range because it's affordable to everybody. I think it's worth it. $5 a month to see daily content that not everybody is able to see. And the memberships, I really didn't think I was going to do anything with it, but I, I just thought about that recently because <laughs> I'm probably gonna put the things I don't like putting out on the memberships like my daily spending it intrigues people to want to pay to see how I spend my money so then they could talk shit either be that or give advice I'm not even gonna say it um but I'm, I'm trying to make some money off of YouTube obviously off of my <sighs> channel so I hope you guys don't don't knock the hustle <laughs> And I hope it's worth it. Let me know if you guys have any advice of what I should add to the membership perks. Yeah, what would you like to see within the membership content as well? The final thing is AdSense. Let's say I have 3,100 hours and they haven't updated within the past four days. 
So we will just need 900 hours left, obviously. So let's go 45, a month and a half, 20 hours. Now that is for sure possible. So in a month and a half, which is the end of September, I want to have ads on my videos. So go ahead and watch the daily series. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button so we can get notified whenever I upload or go live. Stay tuned for the live streams, which is gonna be every single Friday. Yes, tomorrow. Um, let me just tell you guys what tomorrow's is gonna be about. And I'm pretty sure every single Friday's live stream is gonna be about the paycheck I'm receiving on Friday. But tomorrow we are going to be receiving $844 for this paycheck. Now this paycheck, I do have to pay $663 worth of bills, but that leaves us with a little bit of money left for my budget, as well as the investments, daily debt payoffs. Tomorrow on live stream, I will be budgeting that, separating the money in real time. We'll talk about money, plan out the next week, and maybe the rest of the month this this was just a little update video to let you guys know that we are officially monetized and i'm excited for what's to come if you guys do want to become a member on this channel go ahead and join the link in the description five dollars a month yeah that's all i really gotta say tomorrow friday is gonna be the first video for the the daily shorts